Hi, uh, I'm here to host Sneak Peek on CBS. I'm. All right, look, don't even say a thing, all right, because I know the drill. I went through this every day last season. I'm Ray Romano, all right? I have a situation comedy right here. I'm, I'm, and I don't work for craft services. I'm here. I brought it. I brought my uh, my birth certificate, my license, even brought brought my own ink pad for the thumbprint. Okay. I just wanted your autograph, Mr. Romano, sir. You don't gotta go through this. You're a big star. Everybody knows you. Everybody loves you. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> you kill me with this dry sense of humor. <laughs> Look, go down to Valley Park. You tell him I said you can have Cosby space. Really? Really. Uh, you know, last year I, I had to park Cosby's car. <laughs> <laughs> Another joke. <laughs> you kill me. <laughs> Target presents CBS Sneak Peek. A look at the CBS Fall lineup, hosted by Ray Romano. Be the first to see the brand new comedies, the exciting dramas, and much, much more. Coming to CBS this fall. Everybody loves you, Ray. Have another great season, Ray. Welcome home. Everybody loves you, Ray. All right, what's what's going on here? What happened to I watched your show and I just don't get it? Looking good. All right, look, watch this, all right? I have to regroup. Hey! Come on, come on, bring me the heat, baby. <laughs> Lucky shot. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm really, really scared. Always pitched in at school fundraisers. Hot chicken. Now do even more with a Target guest card. Use it and we'll donate 1% of what you spend to your favorite school. Hey, lady, want a piece of me? Come on. Call 1-800-316-6142 for an application or to name the school you'd like to support. Now I'm ready. Let her rip. I love that kid. But you know what? I like that Take Charge of Education program even better. In our fast-paced world, it's very important that kids today have the best education that money can buy. And making that education available to every kid is a challenge. Providing the best possible education takes a strong partnership between parents, teachers, and the community. The grants, scholarships, and school fundraising opportunities available to schools that participate in the Take Charge of Education program can really help. So get motivated, get involved, and take charge of education. For great comedy, the address is CBS Mondays. Cosby's back with a brand new season, and he's better than ever. Monday nights at 8 p.m. At 8.30, stand-up comic Kevin James stars in the new comedy, The King of Queens. Meet Doug Heffernan. Oh, yeah? Well, for your information, these are official company issues. No, no, you shut up. Doug. What? He's making fun of my shorts again. He's five. Be the bigger man. He's a regular guy. I have a huge surprise for you. You're pregnant. Yes! No! Thank God! Would you stop? <laughs> His lifelong dream was to own the biggest TV in the neighborhood. I love you. <laughs> He's got a loving wife. What's the matter? I'm not in the mood. Why not? I feel fat. <laughs> Would you stop it? You're not fat, you're... I know, husky. Husky. Sophisticated friends. TV! Yeah, it's down here! <laughs> but when his father-in-law loses his wife... Look at that guy. What guy? That freak over at the buffet table. He's stealing food. He's making a sandwich. Another one? That's a story. Yeah, you. I guess my wife dropping dead's made you pretty hungry, huh? <laughs> Cut you off. Doug, let's get his hat. He's about to get a house guest. What are you holding? Well, this is uh, some guy's ham and it's his wife's potato salad. <laughs> and when his sister-in-law moves in also, he'll not only lose his privacy. Oh, honey, keep shaving, keep shaving. Sorry, what are you doing? I haven't showered yet. Oh, I'm sorry, but if I'm late for this audition, there's no way I'll get it. Just give me five minutes. Okay, half hour tops. He might just lose his mind. 
always going to be a disaster this morning. Your face? Why did you cut yourself so much? I'd rather not say. Kevin James will always be the king of queens. What's that? It's just urgent knocking. It'll go away. <laughs> Stop. I'll get it. No, no, no. no. You uh, stay here. You got to stay focused, okay? Hey, stay in the mood. All right. huh? Hey, it's all coming back. <laughs> the king of queens. The critically acclaimed comedy Everybody Loves Raymond is back at a new time. Well, Ray, come on, you're a writer. Don't you want to do something like, I don't know, write the great American novel? Or... I thought about that, and then I thought, I don't even want to read the great American novel. <laughs> don't miss Everybody Loves Raymond. At 9.30, Brian Benben, star of HBO's Dream On, comes to CBS with a new comedy. For five years, Brian Benben's been one of L.A.'s top anchors. But like the news he covers, things change. Now he's being replaced by the Ken and Barbie of newscasters. They tested off the charts. What charts? The charts for hair growth? <laughs> Look at him. He's two-thirds hair. But just when he thought his career was over... A tragedy has struck our own Channel 3. Freddie Fontaine was killed while filming a segment at the zoo. This footage is disturbing. So? <laughs> Where's this new ape? Fate stepped in to give him a second chance. Authorities did not realize the ape was in heat. Perhaps we should take a moment to consider what Freddie meant to each of us. No, 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 let the machine get him. Freddie was a special voice at Channel 3 and no one could ever replace him. Sweetie, it's Beverly. I want you to replace Freddie. Now, he's got to claw his way back to the top. Don't you get it, man? I'm the anchor now. You're finished. It's the battle of the newsmen. Doing the news is a little more difficult than introducing videos. Being an anchor is just like being a VJ. All I gotta do is read that teleprompter. As the seasoned veteran plots revenge on the fresh-faced rookie. Okay, what's that? What's what? The computer disc. What disc? I don't know anything about a teleprompter computer disc. It's gonna be switched during the first commercial break, forcing Chad to think on his feet, therefore destroying him and returning me to my rightful place in the universe. That's my boy. <laughs> and even while covering hard-hitting stories like the world's oldest living vaudeville bottle blower, he can still watch his enemy crash and burn. Here we go. The mayor held a press conference about something. I don't know what he said, but I'm sure it was a bunch of crap. <laughs> Something stretchy. Say anything! Now let's skip the news, weather, and sports and go right to Brian for tonight's L.A. story. Thank you, Chad. How does it feel to be 102? <laughs> Sorry to surprise you like that. Ah, it was no big deal. It was a pretty good recovery. Oh, thanks. I heard there were some problems with the teleprompter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in for late-breaking comedy on The Brian Ben Ben Show. Ken Olin stars in a new drama about three L.A. doctors who walked away from the corporate medical world to treat patients instead of diseases. We're here, so what's the deal? Celebration lunch to Lonner Newman Catan, a private medical corporation, one month old today. Uh, here's to internal medicine. You're here. It's a side of private practice you've never seen. She's 14. Yeah. She's my patient. Well, her parents are mine, and I think they have a right to know. When it comes to pregnancy, without her permission, we cannot tell her parents. I'll tell them. Like hell you will. In a city you'd never expect. She's like a movie star. Well, yeah, it's such a job. You can talk to her. No, but in the movie, she's... She's what? Hi. What's your name? What? She's naked. Where you found? Naked. Right On cable. Thanks, Jerry. So this is what our publicist does. Oh, yeah, I know. Should have been in entertainment, not sports, but... Are you upset? What do you think? Yeah, I see. Hey, if I'd had my photo taken with a gorgeous starlet and if that picture had made it into a newspaper with a circulation of, say, oh, a million and a half people, I would be livid, incensed, furious, grateful beyond belief. It is embarrassing and demeaning. Embarrassing and demeaning? Yes. Oh, heaven, my God. I mean, they practically anointed you as the medical gangster of love. <laughs> no, no that, that, uh, that wasn't me. No, I didn't cause it. Look, I gotta go. She pulled right into me. Never looked. She's too old to be driving anyway. Hey, 
you all right? She's on medication. Are you a doctor or something? Something, yeah. Um, <laughs> you hurt anyone? He, he came out of nowhere. Everything moves so fast. Lady, you were at fault. You pulled right in front of me. I just want to know what you're yeah. going to say when the police get here. We've got to relax, okay? They'll figure it out, you know, whether she pulled out in front of you, whether you're going too fast, whatever, you know? Look, I want to know if you're going to lie, all right? Come on. Come on. He pushed you first. I'll testify for you if you testify for me. What do you think? I think everything moves too fast. From the producer of Rain Man and Bugsy comes an extraordinary new series. Okay, it's 6.05 on Friday the 27th. Roger Catan oh, made a house call. <laughs> L.A. Doctors. Hey, what are, you, what are you doing? This is my office. Hello, Mr. Romano. Hi, Roger Small, CBS yes. executive in charge of talent relations. All right, what, what's, what's going on here? Well, this is your guy, Friday. Guy Friday? <laughs> what? No, I don't need a guy Friday. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, what's your name? Guy, Guy Friday. Guy Friday. Okay, look, I don't need a Guy Friday. Of course you do. You're a superstar. Everybody loves you. <laughs> yeah. You got one of the highest rated sitcoms on CBS. Yeah, <laughs> okay, but... Oh, what is this? Ah, yeah, nice, huh? Big star, big picture. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you a new office. All right, look, I got something to do here, so why don't you just go ahead and watch what's on Tuesday, this fall, on CBS. CBS Tuesday Night kicks off with TV's fastest growing drama featuring David James Elliott and Catherine Bell, two of television's sexiest stars, JAG, Tuesdays at 8. Then at 9 o'clock, the CBS Tuesday Night Movie returns with the best original movies and Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. Hi, I'm Amy Grant. With a little care and a little help, you can make beautiful things grow. That's why the people at Target take a portion of what we spend there and put it back into the communities they serve. No other retailer gives away a bigger percentage of its profits. In fact, it adds up to over a million dollars a week. At Target, they're helping our communities blossom all across the country. Returning Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Surprise! The Nanny's Wedding was the biggest event of last season, but the wedding night is still ahead, and the honeymoon has just begun. For 10 years, she was Corky Sherwood on Murphy Brown. Now, Faith Ford stars in her first series, Maggie Winters. There's no easy way to say this, Jack, so I'm just going to say it. It's over! And I want to thank you for sleeping with Tawny, my dental hygienist, a person who puts her fingers in my mouth. <laughs> Let her listen to the little spit noise you make when you have something stuck in your teeth. Or the constant clearing of your throat because of your allergies to mold spores. <laughs> Let her! I hope you both get gingivitis and die. For Maggie Winters, life didn't turn out how she planned. Mom! So she's returning to where she grew up. Hello, piano. Are you okay, honey? You're greeting the furniture. I'm just happy to be here. Most people would be feeling like dirt after they found out their husband had been slipping it to that teeth cleaning trollop. Now she's back in the old neighborhood. Chardin, please. Maggie Winters. Tom Vanderhals, how are you? How do I look? So, I guess you still see a lot of the old gang. It's like I never left Hall High. Right. Go Cougars. Yeah! Go Cougs! Woo! <laughs> She's starting a new career. Hi. I'm here about the job. Maggie Winters. Duh. <laughs> Maggie, it's me, Rachel. Tomlinson. Right, Rachel from kindergarten through high school. Oh. But she's about to discover some things never change. So, are you going to get back together with Bobby or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything I ever wanted in high school, you took from me. Student body president, editor of the yearbook, Maria and West Side Story. Who's a pretty girl in the mirror there? What mirror? Where? Who could that 
attractive girl be? Which, what, where, who? You were robbed. <laughs> and with a little help from the class of 83. Once upon a time I was falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. Nothing. Oh, no, no, nothing I can do. A total eclipse of the heart. She might just make it after all. Faith Ford is Maggie Winters. Then at 9 o'clock, CBS presents the next generation of romantic comedy, To Have and To Hold. Meet Annie and Sean. You're the one who's sexist. No, I'm not. You're not a public defender. You're a female defender. Shut up. Two people with nothing in common. I'm not discussing the case with you. Using your personal relationship to try and get this guy off. Oh, and just yesterday you were on his side. I was never on his side. No, just against me. I'm not against you, though. I would like to be. <laughs> okay, stay. Except they're crazy about each other. Thank you, Detective. You're welcome, Counselor. Counselor. Shh. He's a Boston cop. 50 bucks says you postponed the wedding again. You've been throwing your money away. You already postponed it twice. It makes us any difference. It's the whole three strikes thing. I can relate to that, man. Who asked you? Besides, Ma says if I postpone one more time, she's going to shoot me with my own gun. She's a public defender. Not only am I going to take this case, but I'm going to make you look the biggest, fattest... Because I know this is the PMS talking. I am disengaging. I'm going to run downstairs, make you a nice cup of moon cycle tea. We'll forget about the whole thing. And if opposites attract, Annie, these two up. were made for each other. Annie, will you open the door? I'm sorry. I love you, but I just can't do it. Annie, if you don't open this door, I'm going to break the window and climb in after you. That's awful expensive, Sean. Nah, I shouldn't have let me do it. It's against the law. What I tell you? First, we're going to get married, then we're going to have children, and then we're going to die. And you're probably going to die first because you're older, and I just don't want to get that ball rolling. I love you. You're my damned happiness, and I hate you. I'm out of control. Annie, if you don't go through with it today, I'm going to tell everyone the truth that it was your idea to cancel the other two. You wouldn't. Yes, I would. You take the heat this time. Jason Begay and Maura Kelly star in To Have and To Hold. Returning at 10 o'clock, the powerhouse drama, Chicago Hope. Well, this is your new office. Wow. <laughs> wow. The Mona Lisa. We heard you loved the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Where'd you get such a great looking copy? Copy? It's on loan from the Louvre. They love you in France. You're bigger than Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know, if I knew you were going to do all this, I would have asked for the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. <clears throat> Oh my god. Yeah, now that is a copy. In fact, the guy just finished it this morning. All right, I'm gonna go uh, towel off. Why don't you watch what's on Thursday this fall on CBS? CBS Thursday Night starts with Gerald McRaney starring in Promised Land. Hit the road with this feel-good family drama. Dick and Barry Van Dyke return in Diagnosis Murder. Last season ended with an explosive cliffhanger. Who will survive? Tune in to find out. 48 hours, we take you there. The most unique news magazine show on TV returns for its 12th season with anchor Dan Rather. See the world like you've never seen it before. 48 hours. Keep her coming, keep her coming. Couple more feet. Oh. Have her done in a jiffy. Better roll up that window, lady. Bug guts. Birds. Always done your part to help schools raise money? Apply for a Target guest card. Use it and we'll donate 1% of the total to your favorite school. So schools get what they need. Lunch time. And so do you. For more information, call 1-800-316-6142. Lady, are you asleep? You know, some of the perks that come with being a star, they, they aren't really too bad. Mmm. 
but it's not going to spoil me. I've always had lunch with my writers, and I always will. Hey guys, uh, I don't think the joke on page three works, to be honest. What do you say? We can't hear you. What? I said I don't think my joke on page three is working. Works for me. <laughs> they're funny guys. They're always making jokes. Well, they're comedy writers. What do you expect? Hey, listen. Why don't you see what's on Fridays on CBS this fall? After a long week, CBS Friday brings you the laughs you deserve with Kids Say the Darndest Things at 8 p.m. Hosted by the <laughs> king of kids himself, Bill Cosby. Now, what do you want to be when you grow up? Bill Gates' partner. <laughs> Followed at 8.30 by the hidden camera antics of Candid Camera. Hosted by Suzanne Somers and Peter Funt with the series that catches people when they least expect it. Then at 9 o'clock, Dennis Farina and Frank Whaley star in the coolest new drama of the season, Buddy Farrow. Buddy Farrow invented modern detective technique. He literally wrote the book. He knew everything there is to know about finding missing persons. One thing I'm sure of. Your Uncle Buddy is missing because he does not want to be found. Three days before he vanished, Buddy made a substantial wire transfer to a town in Baja, California. I'd like to go down there to San Felipe and see if I can't get the bottom of this case. Buddy Farrow might have written the book, Miss Crocetti, but Bob Jones is about to add a chapter or two of his own. Maybe you can help me. H has anybody seen this fellow? I'm trying to locate this gentleman. El Jefe? Si, El Jefe. That's Buddy Farrell? Yeah. What happened to you? Well, to tell you the truth, Bob, I let myself go a little bit. <coughs> Come on, kid! That's my car! These are some cross wheels, baby! Slow down a little. Since this started out as your problem, I wouldn't mind a little help. After 20 years away, the world's greatest detective is cleaning up his act. And crime fighting has never looked so cool. How do you feel? Like a hundred bucks. I'll tell you something, Bobo. I never claimed to be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I always knew one thing. You've got to set yourself. That's what they're buying, baby. Confidence, style. Start singing, baby. The room, the rocket. Let's do it. Show you up for this? Best way to find who's looking for me is to let myself be found. Well, kiddo, we'll do what you do best. What's that? Blend in. This is Radio Free Europe broadcast behind the iron curtain. See what you're good at, buddy. What would that be? Get noticed. Look, kid, I work strictly on a handshake. Everything split right down the middle, 60-40. I don't know. Kind of like working alone. I'm offering you the chance of a lifetime, a partnership. You have a lot of talent, but you just have to loosen up those bolts in your neck a little bit. Just spread your wings. Fly a little. Check it out, Bobby. Buddy is back in town. So come fly with Buddy. 9 o'clock, Fridays. From the streets of L.A. to the bridges of San Francisco. Returning at 10 o'clock, Don Johnson and Cheech Marin keep the Bay Area safe in Nash Bridges. We could have stayed in the car for that. In 1989, a girl named Tennessee Curtis came to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital with a rare cancer. We treated her for three years, and in the end, we lost the battle. But what we learned from Tennessee helped us develop treatments that have saved the lives of Jacob, Aaron, Tierra, and hundreds of other children in places around the world. Even when we lose a child, in a way, they live on. CBS Saturday begins with Early Edition at its new time, 8 p.m., with Kyle Chandler returning as the man who gets tomorrow's news today. Then at 9 o'clock, one of Asia's biggest action stars comes to America to star in his first TV series. A force of nature is headed for L.A. And it ain't El Nino. 
This guy's got the top closure rate of any cop in China. This Hong Kong super cop is teaming up with the LAPD. You're going to have the best cop from a country of one billion people working with you. And taking Tinseltown by storm. Drop the gun or she dies. <laughs> Action star Sammo Hung will hang the bad guys out to dry. Let's get it on. And cut crime down to size. That guy Sammo, I keep him around. This fall, East meets West. Can I get you anything? Water? Deep. Fire coke. In martial law. And if you like your action Texas style, Chuck Norris is back at 10 p.m. as Walker, Texas Ranger. Okay, fine. So, what do you think, Ray? Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, I'm not even in it. <laughs> Ray, it's not your show. You see, we want your feedback on all our sitcoms. Because after all, you are the last word in comedy. Yeah, okay, well, my last word is that I'm going home. Okay, I gotta take my kids to a ball. Yeah, have a seat, Ray. I've already made arrangements to take them for you. Don't you worry about your wife's birthday tomorrow night. What do you mean? I'm taking her out. I'm going to that fancy hotel for a little romantic evening there. Got that covered for you, Ray. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't. All right, look, come on. Hey, we got to settle this, all right? Meanwhile, why don't you watch what's on Sunday in CBS? Uh, listen, what? Slick. No. We got this whole thing worked out. Yes. No, no back it off, Turner and Hooch. Oh, oh, so easy. Get in. The number one news magazine of all time is back after football, the way it should be. In 60 minutes, these guys get tough, tackle the big boys, and aren't afraid to get down and dirty. In 60 minutes, these guys get tough, You're betraying your government. tackle the big boys, 425,000 people die of smoking cigarettes, and aren't afraid to get down and dirty. What about these charges, that yeah. these girls all have yeah. eating disorders? The NFL, 60 minutes, back to back, on CBS, the way it should be. I will run then, Roma Downey, Della Reese, and John Dye return for a brand new season of Touched by an Angel. See why it's not only one of today's highest rated shows, but also the most inspiring hour in prime time. Believe me, I'll walk with you. Each week, millions turn to CBS for the most outstanding movies and miniseries on television. This season will present our most exciting lineup ever. The brightest stars, the most anticipated movie events, make CBS Sunday America's Night at the Movies. Anyway, that's the new season on CBS, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the fall. Okay, look, I want all this special star treatment to stop. You understand? I don't, I don't want you to treat me any differently than you would Cheech Marin. Cheech who? Cheech Marin. Look, just, just stop it. I just stop with the assistant in the big office and the, the artwork and fancy meals. I don't need that. I don't need any of that. Okay? Huh? Any questions? Yeah, Ray, we need your notes on Walker, Texas Ranger, by lunch tomorrow. Speaking of lunch, I have a terrific Chardonnay. Get out! Here's what I'm thinking. This is a whole new opening for the show. Oh, yes.